Hey everybody, this is Brad from Johnson Small Engines, better known as the One Hand Mechanic. If I can do it, you can too. Today we are working on an XRX217 Honda, self-propelled rear-wheel drive. I just want to show you how I grease. Kita has to be kept greased. And if you hear this click, 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 that's what we're going to be greasing today. So first thing we want to do is uh, show you the tools that were needed. Pretty simple, it should be everything we need today is a, a ratchet with a 14 millimeter socket, a pair of snap ring pliers, which you can get locally at any, um, probably any automotive store or even Harbor Freight, a pick, which can be easily picked up at any automotive store or Harbor Freight again, um, some grease of your liking. I know everybody's got their opinions on the grease that they're using, but if you grease your, if you grease these once a year or once every other year, depending on how much you actually how much you use a machine, you're not going to have a problem. Um, some kind of a cleaner. This, I'm just going to use a carb cleaner. It's just something to clean the grease off the old one just so I can take a look at the uh, what's going on inside there. And I'm going to use my electric ratchet as always. So let me get this up on the bench and we're right to it. Okay, so we have it up on the bench. It's a 14 millimeter socket to take off. Just a bolt right there. And you want to check your bearings on your wheels while you're here. Sometimes I've actually had a hard time getting the wheels off the shaft right there. So it might be a good idea to put a little bit of uh, lubrication just on these if you're in very moist conditions. But you just want to spin your bearings on your wheels. These are getting a little bit noisy, but they're pretty good to just put them back on. I usually spin them. Actually, can't really hear over the clock, but the clicking is right here, all right? And this one has been greased every year. It's in for service again, and we're just going to make sure it is greased. Uh, a lot of times the grease just comes out of them. All right, and I'm going to just... Now, you could use any some kind of a spray, something to clean this up with. All right, so this is a snap ring right here where we need to have your snap ring pliers. And it's just uh, their eyelets on there, and you're just going to pry them out. If you pry these too far out... You'll actually bend them, so you got to be careful. You don't want to. You want to try to reuse these. And sometimes you can put them in a vise and crimp them together, or just buy a new one. Now this side here, this is the right side. If you're walking behind it, it has a washer. You have to remember. You're going to see when we get to the other side that you have to remember which way these go, and you also have to remember which way that your gears go. If you put these on backwards, you could actually the wheel. You want the the. The uh, self-propelled will not work if you put these on if you put these gears on backwards. So make sure that you put them back the way you got them. Now I'm being careful because right now the little teeny, they call it a dog or a key, um, it's about ready to fall out of my hands. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just remember that when you put these back on again, that the dirty part on the back of this gear goes towards the back, right? Or you just remember which way you had it. I can just tell it it's dirtier on the inside than it is on the outside, but I'm also going to clean that off. So just be careful. But the but the little copper looking part right there is where where there is nothing that wore off from it running around the gear on the wheel. So just remember that that copper part goes towards the back side here. Okay. Now I'm going to move the other wheel around. Now I did put this up on a block. I should have told you guys that in the beginning. But the wheels are off the ground. I'm going to lock the other wheel so I can turn this shaft. So I can get it straight up in the air now, so I don't lose anything. Now what you want to do is these little keys, they actually get worn away if they're not greased. And these will get in real bad condition. You can buy them right from Honda. Uh, they're easy to get and supply. And the other thing you have to get out, and this is why we need to pick, this is a very small spring inside here. And this spring will also dry out. And these are actually lubricated, not half bad. So you want to make sure that you either clean them up and re-grease them. Now that's why I said use that spray. These are not in bad shape because we have services machine through many years. I think this is uh this is going on I think eight or nine years old now and we're still using this this here this is your key and this spring these things really will wear out if they're not greased. So you got to make sure that you grease them if it's real dry and also just check to make sure that you don't have debris in here or if it's real grease packed. Now what I do is I'll get a little bit of my grease and if you guys are sensitive to grease with your fingers or your hands, I would obviously just using gloves. But I'm going to put a little bit of grease in the pocket there. And if you have to, if you have any bad grease inside that little pocket where that spring goes, you want to clean that out first. I'm just going to put a little bit of grease in there. I'm going to put the spring back in. And then I'm going to put a little bit more grease on top. You don't want to go too crazy with the grease because you don't want grass getting all stuck to it. I'm going to go ahead and put the little I'm 
Okay, now these will get worn if they're if they're dry, if they go dry. So you gotta be careful. A little I call it a little keyway or a little dog. And then the gear, when you put the gear on, of course I know with the copper went back towards the back. You're gonna put this on now. We could clean this up here. I see it was real dirty here. I should have probably cleaned this up before I got this all uh let me get let me get this cleaned up the best I can here. It wasn't terrible, but we just wanna Keep the grass from sticking to the old grease that's on the, the back side of this thing. And I've even gone as far as Q-tips and tried to clean stuff out with Q-tips because it actually does work pretty well with them. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and put, when you put the gear on, you're going to push down. Because it's spring, it's spring loaded, you got to push down the key and then you're going to slide it right in. Now it should lock. And you see how it got quiet? It's still clicking, but it's a lot quieter because now there's grease in there. And you just make sure that it locks in, that make sure your key didn't drop out. Check to make sure your key, weight key didn't drop out. Then you have the washer that goes on this side. And then your snap ring. And our snap ring is in good condition. Put that on, make sure it's seated properly. Okay, make sure it won't come out there. And then you're going to just double check your wheel to make sure that your gear is not loose. You may sometimes, if they're real bad, these gears will go bad inside here and everything is fine. You're going to go ahead and slide it back on. Actually, you know what? I'll put a little bit of grease on here just to help out. Now, it's a little bit quieter and that noise will never go away. And it's actually after your first cut, it's gonna be probably just as loud as it was. But now we know we have sufficient lubrication for mo most likely a year, depending on how much grass you cut. Okay, so now we wanna go around to the other side and do the same thing. Okay, so now we're at the left wheel. I'm gonna try it now. Again, spin your bearings, make sure they're okay. This one's a little bit loud, but it'll probably be just fine. They're, they really, they get real wobbly when they dry up. So this one's actually in pretty decent shape. All right, so we're gonna try to clean, you know, for this a little bit. We'll go ahead and take our snap ring pliers. washer now I might need to pull this yeah okay so I want to turn the I'm going to use this gear and turn I'm just looking in the back to see where the keyway is and just getting it straight up and down so when I take this out it doesn't fall out so you'll lose it you can lose it and just remember the copper part goes towards the, the backing plate I'm gonna take this guy out really wasn't in bad shape at all for being a, a year since we've seen this and take your spring out with a little pick. You gotta be careful you don't stretch these. Sometimes these will get stuck inside and you may need to buy new ones because they get so stuck, they get rusted in there that the spring will actually just, just it'll get up like really long and just get lengthened and it's not good. So everything looks good in here. There's not a whole lot of debris in there. Outside looks fairly clean. Just go ahead and clean this up around here. And I do know, I know there's a, I have to make a video on this, but this is not, this is a problem with these machines, it's back here. Okay, the axle comes through here, there is a bushing inside this frame that actually can get hung up and it starts to dry out in there and there's really no way to grease it or anything to, it, it's, it'll, the problem you'll have is pulling these backwards, it'll actually won't work too well. Anyway, so you're gonna put a little bit of grease inside there, just like I did the last, Last one, I'm gonna put the spring inside the grease. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit more, a little bit more lube around there. I'm gonna put the, the dog in there. Copper side in, and you have to press down on the key here. And you gotta make sure it doesn't pop out the back. Push it in. Make sure it clicks. 
All right, make sure it locks in so you know it's in there. Put your washer on. Make sure your snap ring is in good condition. Snap ring back on. Sure you're not missing any teeth on here. These are metal, so they should last a long time as long as you're taken care of. Turn back on there. it to get them greased up and we put it down on the ground to make sure it self propels and we'll be right back okay so I'm gonna fire this up and see if the rear wheels are spinning if your rear wheel if your rear wheels do not spin after you lubricated the, uh, the keys in there then you may have them in backwards or you may have another issue um, I would not usually start one of these up inside my shop but I do know this has a clutch on it so that means that the blade will not be spinning when I run it so I'm going to go ahead and fire it up. to grease the rear wheels on a Honda HRX 217. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Please subscribe, tell your friends about my channel. I do appreciate everybody watching my channel and I will catch you guys on the next one.